Hey, what's up guys? I'm continuing my series of working through the free bots on chess.com. A lot of people have been joining chess.com recently. And so if you don't have a paid account, you can get all of, um, you can still play against all of the bots that are in the left hand column here. So we've done Martin at 250, we've done Elani at 400, and now we're going on to Aaron from Iceland. And uh, I'm gonna go challenge random, and we've got the white pieces. Um, all right, now I played the London against Elani. So, okay. Now this is, I'm already out of my depth. The Horvitz defense, I do, I do not understand this at all. Um, I'd be more expecting d5 or knight out or something like that. So let's, I'll proceed with the plan. We'll proceed with the London plan. Okay, there we go. Now I can push my pawn. So this, this computer is meant to be rated at about 700. This is not a great move because white generally either wants to bring their knight out, but usually in the London you push c3 anyway. So now this move comes with tempo, which means I put, my opponent now has to waste a turn moving his bishop a second time. And that means that he's lost some initiative. So I have moved one, two, three pawns. He's moved two pawns. We have one piece each out on the board and it's white to move. So uh, we shall continue with knight f3 in London style. Uh, okay, so knights come out to f6. We always need to have a, a mind to, could this knight end up in there? Now think about this bishop to this square and this knight to d2, both control that square. So that's what I'm gonna do. Here we go, London setup. All standard stuff. And this is also an odd move. Pawn to b6. For one thing, it um, just simply traps the bishop there. So b4 now will win the bishop if I choose to, to play that. You can see, because black's just cut off the bishop's only retreat. Um, I'm going to give him a, one turn of grace to see if he can uh, spot the error. No. Okay, then. I'll take the free stuff. And there goes the knight back. See, completely wasted moves. So that's now uh, move eight and move nine have achieved absolutely nothing for black. And he should have actually taken the pawn, really. And I'll just grab another pawn on the way out. Why not? All right, so I've got a bishop looking at here. It's defended by the queen. This bishop is very nice. Um, I haven't completed development yet because I've got to get my queen off the back rank. She's got three good squares where she could go. Uh, let's go to c2 so that we've got the queen and the bishop both lined up on this diagonal. We just need to get rid of this horse. And we are... You might be able to capture here. Even if they push the pawn to g6, we can take, they take, queen takes. We've won three pawns for our bishop, but more importantly, the three rather important pawns. So how do we get rid of the of the horse? Um, can I push the pawn up? If they take, we take, yeah, probably. And if they do nothing, I'm gonna get e5. And e5, there we go. And e5 means that this knight must now move. And there, there he goes. He's actually attacking this bishop. So I'm going to pull my bishop back. I could pull it back here, or I could put it here. Or I can give check, actually, as well. I give check, the king has to move to there. Um, so if I give check, the king moves. Um, it's a, there's no rush for anything, really. I think I'll just drop my bishop back here. And if they take, I'll recapture with the h-pawn. They have not taken. All right. Now I've maybe missed my... That ship has sailed now. I could have captured that pawn, couldn't I? Okay, so let's re recycle this bishop. Now it's got a, a different job. And... I could come here, and that's not going to work. I was thinking if the pawn takes, I get the knight, but he's also, he's got the option of queen takes, simply winning the knight outright, so that doesn't work for me. I can put my bishop here and hit the queen. Uh, black has no dark squared bishop because he lost it over here, got it trapped. Um, and if they push pawns, happy days. 
and that just plunders the queen. Okay, so the real key to these um, uh, to playing these these beginner level bots is so what I'm going to do. I'm just planning to put my knight here with a discovery against this knight. Okay, I could even move it forward actually. Let's move it to here. See if he spots that. Okay, spotted it. That's fine. All right. Uh, so yeah, the key is they will make mistakes. They are programmed to make mistakes. Um, so what you need to do is don't be the first one to make mistakes. I mean, that would just drop a pawn with check. So no point in that. I would like to eradicate this knight. I'd like to get it out of my out of my camp. And I think probably the best way is to attack with a queen like this. Okay, now I can attack with the queen. He can take the bishop, but that's fine. I'm up material. I'm up a whole queen. So happy days. And you've blundered your knight. Yes. So all what you need to do is you need to make sure your pieces are safe and tied up, tied together, right? Okay, let's bring my knight here. That's going to open up the bishop. This is okay. Give check here. See where the king moves to. All right, and now I can afford to give up my knight, I guess. I mean, actually, also, queen here, sorry, queen to this square would also defend the knight because then the pawn would be pinned. The pawn can't take the knight because black would be putting himself into check, and you ain't allowed to do that. Right, but if I put my queen here, I can just push f4, then my queen's under attack, and so is my knight. So I think better is to capture this pawn with check. And there we go. So they've um, evaded. Now if I just, for example, do this, it doesn't come with check, so they can actually take my queen. So I have to give the knight back now, but then I can recapture with check again. Okay. They have neglected to recapture. This is now a discovered check by the queen. And I think checkmate is going to follow very soon because this is a check. The king is then going to be forced here. And then is that mate? It certainly is. Okay. So let, let's let's do it again. We'll do it we'll do a rematch. <clears throat> um this time I'm gonna play an E4 opening, okay? So what's the point? The point is Okay, uh, we'll just capture. This is the Scandinavian and normal Scandi. Okay, given check. There are many things you can do here. You can block with the knight, you can block with the bishop, you can block with the queen. You can block with this knight. You can theoretically put that knight there, but that would be very silly. Now, out of all these moves, the, move, the piece you don't want to move is this knight. Why? Because it's already developed. It's already developed and controlling the center. Why move it away from the center? That would be uh, silly and foolish. So here I'm going to block with the bishop. Queen's not going to trade herself with the bishop, but now I get to play knight f3 again with tempo. Just want to make sure everything's safe. Get the king castled. All right, principal play. Okay, this is a curious move. My opponent's really played a pawn offside here. Um, however, I can't go to here or here safely. I could put my knight here. But then you've got to say, well, it, it might get kicked by another pawn, but then I can come back to d4. So I think that is actually all right. And if I move to d4, I've got then got... Huh. I was going to say, so now d4 is out of the question. But my opponent is creating a whole heap of weaknesses down to this. Now, let's say they play a6 on the next move. Right? Am I going to be upset about that? I don't know. We can probably afford to give up the knight. I think that we have good compensation for this. Okay. So, hang on. Wow. I mean, that's a fork and a half, isn't it? <coughs> that is just a fork and a half. Yeah? You wait. Wait long enough. Your opponent will just screw up. Yeah. There's no reason not to do that. So this would be a royal fork, king and queen. A family fork is king, queen and rook. I don't know what you call king, queen, rook and a bishop. Okay. King takes or pawn takes? Pawn takes. Now you've got very awkward pawns. Look at this. This is not good. Let's grab that bishop. Trade it for the... Yep. Yeah, trade off. 
Again, we're up material, right? You don't need to do anything super clever. You just need to bide your time. I'm attacking this knight, okay. That's a good move. Also defends this pawn as well. All right, um, let's get this bishop out into the board. We'll fianchetto this bishop. Now we've completed development, the rooks are connected. And I mean, I could simply trade off. That's the sensible thing to do in this kind of case. I'm, uh, I'm gonna stay on the front foot and uh, bring my knight in. Okay, let's attack this rook and this pawn. Okay, win the pawn. Nothing, nothing clever. Nothing brilliant here, we're just grinding away. Okay, attack the rook again. Okay, that's that's safe now, that that, uh, that knight. We're not worried. Uh, here, pawn takes. I can't take back with the bishop, so let's centralize the other rook. Add another defender behind that. Okay, let's go up. Hmm. Free stuff. Okay, trade off rooks, I don't mind. I'm repairing his pawn slightly, but... After I capture here, it's just not looking too clever at all. All right, and now this pawn is pinned, can't move. I'd like to remove that knight if I can. Okay, you're coming at me, are you? Okay, I can come here with check. If bishop takes, I simply recapture the queen. Okay. And let's push a pawn forward. So that's the en passant capture. If you've never seen that, I'll show again, right? If you move a pawn two squares from its starting square, which you are allowed to do, as long as it hasn't obviously hasn't moved already, then if there is a an opponent's pawn next to a square where that pawn will land, such that if it could have captured if you'd gone one and then two, then the oppose, opponent's pawn has the option of capturing it en passant, which means on the way past. Okay, so I play pawn to c4 and they capture on the way past. Okay, so let's recapture with the bishop. And I really want to get rid of this knight. So I'm simply going to go for a very blunt approach. I'm going to eradicate the knight. And then as soon as I move my knight, I've got king, uh, queen and rook, sorry, all lined up there. My knight is now covering these squares too. Decent move there by opponent, but I can capture with the knight anyway. And we capture with check. King's got three squares. And uh, not that way. He's moving to open waters now. Not the best idea. Uh, let's give check here with the pawn. And check again uh, okay let's think this through there must be an elegant finish here I have check which will force the king there and then I think rook here is checkmate it is there you go nice finish all right so uh, Aaron definitely uh, better than the the previous ones but this is a 700 rated bot I think if you're rated Anything from 400 upwards, you should have a good game against this one. Um, but yeah, like I say, it, it will make mistakes. You've just got to have your eyes open for the mistakes and don't make mistakes first. Just keep it tight, keep it solid, play principled, develop your pieces, get your king safe, and you should be fine. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. See you later.